The pyramids of Egypt. A phenomenon. A mystery. Now that scientists are involved, the mystery is turned into a science trick. Hello, Internet. I'm William Haynes. And I'm Joe Barrett. Me too. Oh, yeah. What is it? We're smart persons. Yep. <laughs> I'm always surprised when scientists don't know stuff. What have y'all been doing for the last thousands of years? Sitting on your ass? I mean, yeah, you've been finding cures for diseases and developing new ways to make difficult things easier and generally discovering everything you can about the world around us. But what about those dang pyramids in Egypt? They're important to me. The ancient Egyptians had to move colossal statues and pyramid stones weighing about 2.5 tons using vast leads across the hot, hot desert without any types of modern technology. For years, people speculated aliens were to be the reason why humans were able to move such large weights. But now scientists have discovered that by adding water to sand, the grains begin to branch together. Because of this, the sliding friction of any object moving over the surface of the sand greatly reduces. Add a little lubrication and friction greatly reduces. This reminds me of the Wizard of Oz when the Tin Man needs oil. He feels great after lubrication. Some might even say orgasmic. My daughter doesn't say that. Nope. A highly diversified international team of scientists led by Daniel Bond from the University of Amsterdam evaluated the sand water trick by pulling a weighted sled across the surface in a tray. As they added water, subsequently the amount of force needed to pull the tray as well as the amount of friction decreased. Boop! Science! Science. So, you're telling me it wasn't aliens? It was pure logic? I'm a little disappointed. Am I wrong for being a little disappointed? Am I wrong for wanting more? I need more suffering. I mean, how could it possibly be this simple and we just didn't know? Nobody drew a dang hieroglyphic of a mother hugger throwing some water on some sand? That would have saved us thousands of years of speculation if you ancients would have just had a little you know, foresight, and would have just taken the time to properly historicate yourselves. Inconsiderate. Okay, wait, just one moment. What? In this actual hieroglyphic, a person is seen pouring water onto the sand in front of a sled carrying a giant statue, clearly explaining the entire process. Oh, you right. You right. Guys, are you happy with this new explanation for the moving of stones to build pyramids? Do you believe it was actually aliens? Let us know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, click the invitation for more source-fed stories. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm William Haynes. Science. Science. Love it. Makes you learn stuff. Mm -hmm. Now I know. No aliens, I guess.